Yo, 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 check this out. You got to hear this shit. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe, like, and share. Yo, this is Shiz from The Shiz Show. I'm about interesting conversation in real life. That's what The Shiz Show is about, about real life. So I want to get into why is it that drugs are illegal but they will never be banned in America completely. Like they'll never not be let in. You probably think you know a few reasons. They're not probably wrong, They're probably valid, but I'm just wanna spark up the conversation and give you a chance to think a little deeper and see that at the end of the day, the American dream is nothing more than about dollars and cents. Okay, now with that being said, let's get into it a little bit. In America, we have a lot of people that would like to harm us, such as like the 9-11 situations. And those people would love nothing more than to have weapons of mass destruction and uh, be able to uh, be able to basically um, end us, you know, it's what you do to enemies. So... With that being said, how is it possible to get tons of drugs, but not one small piece of radioactivity to make a, a bomb? The reason that's not possible is because our government is really good at protecting us. But they're also really good at letting in what they want in. The conversation that I'm having with this has nothing to do with conspiracy theories. It has nothing to do with me being a career felon, drug dealer. This is my perspective. But this perspective made people around me that were in the industry and in that life as far as counselors, addiction treatment specialists, I made them change their view on some things. Because little did they know, they were just a speck in the whole cog of the system. Because think of this, you can't get anything in to harm us, but you have so much drugs that it floods our society. Without drugs, our economy would collapse and fail. I know you're probably asking, doesn't make sense, how? If you take the average drug dealer that makes $30,000 a year, he spends it all free, right? He buys the clothes, the cars, the jewelry, takes his family everywhere, he does everything. You take the average person, they spend their money more wisely. Drug dealing and the lifestyle of drug dealing is a for today life because we don't know if tomorrow's promise, whether it be jail, death, whatever. So with that being said, I'm going to give you the whole rundown of how dollars and cents make everything. And at the end, it's not going to cost you any dollars to use your cents. Here we go. You start off with a drug dealer. He's going, he's going to spend all that money like I told you in the economy. Now, if you take drugs away from America, all that drug dealing money is not in the economy. You have to completely eliminate that. But that's not, that's, that's not the, the gist of it. The whole story of it begins like this. When he's arrested, when he's caught. Now, mind you, I want to display to you that 70% of people incarcerated are incarcerated for a drug-related crime. Let me say it again. Over 70% of people incarcerated are incarcerated over a drug-related crime. Not to say that 70% of people incarcerated for drugs. 
But if you stole something from a store and, and got caught and your mission at the end of that, that theft was to get money to get drugs, <clears throat> you have a drug-related crime. Because they also, when they sentence drug dealers versus drug users, they sentence us higher because they say we make that spider effect, that spider web effect. That's the people stealing from stores, raising the prices higher on citizens, that whole thing. So when he gets caught, you take that money that he spends out the economy. All of it, because drugs are illegal. So now you start when the police come grabbing. All of the vice cops and the, the cops that investigate narcotics, not needed at all, 100% gone. When, when, when you're arresting and he has to place bail, mind you, drug dealers pay more bail than anybody else. <clears throat> you're arresting, pays bail, 70% of the crime is gone, so you don't need that many bail bondsmen. That's a lot of jobs. The next stage is he has to get an attorney. A lot of drug dealers are the ones that pay for attorneys. 70% of them aren't needed. Any attorney that specializes in drug cases is no longer, he's null and void. So you go from there to the next stage, prison. You take out 70% of the population from anywhere, it has to collapse. So now you have to get rid of some of these prisons because you don't need to house. 70% of your people that you house in. You get rid of all the staff within that prison, right? What well, those 70% of the prisons that have to go and the 70% of the staff, all the way to when you get ready to go to court. The sheriffs and the bailiffs come get you, protect the court, not necessary. The DA, 70% of them, not necessary. The stenographer, not fucking necessary. The judge, 70% of them not necessary. When you get done, parole board, parole officers, they ain't got nobody to supervise because 70% of their population is no longer incarcerated. So now I ask you, as a drug counselor, would you believe your job would be null and void? There are no drugs to have a drug problem for. Maybe legal drugs, so you may have some minor, but I'm talking about street drugs, the drugs that they let and come in by the tons. When you look at the whole overall picture, if you eliminate drugs and you eliminate 70% of the population of prisoners and you eliminate all of the things that encompass them, groups, drug and alcohol counseling after. You eliminate all these millions of jobs. Where the fuck are they going to work? See, that's the thing. Where are these millions of people going to work? Don't tell me they would be business owners. They're not leaders. The word leader is not a positive or a negative thing. It's just what it is. Everybody is not leaders. They were already working for someone because they were accustomed to following. So you can't say they'll turn into business owners. The current job, they don't have enough to hire millions more people. You have the whole situation of not just that revenue loss. What about all of the food that were going into the prisons to feed these people? What about Big Pharma? What about all the medications they slinging in jail? I ain't telling you that what you believe is wrong, but I'm telling you, if these people were to give up all these dollars, it wouldn't make sense. So again, I ask you, if it ain't making dollars, is it really making sense? You ain't doing shit for free. You ain't gonna have no hustle bubbling and just toss that shit to the side because don't nobody like it. That's the definition of what drug dealers do. The ones who were supplied and allowed by the government. 
We don't have planes. We don't have boats. We're not getting it in here. It's all on them. So I ask you, make it make sense. Like, subscribe, share. Help me out. I'm trying to build this channel so we can have more education like this and so I can share my life with you. I have a lot more videos of things to show. Get with me. Fuck with me. Be part of the shit show.